good morning, morning good morning. everybody. Well, is it morning? Is 11 o'clock actually morning? <sighs> you know, that's, that's like, kind of a weird time. You it's know? more like... It's like almost lunchtime. Having brunch, with <laughs> except now we're just going to give you a wonderful technology news. We're just going to be like good brunch time. That's it. <laughs> brunch yeah. time talk. Technology Brunch news time eat. talk. Brunch time talk. That's so, it. Oh, that's oh, it. oh, 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 oh. I'm just, I broke my rule. But that's oh, okay. geez. Just, I know, John. I know, I know. So welcome, everybody. Welcome. We have, uh, we have a, we have a plethora. Plethora. Let's use big words, right? Big words. I like big words. Big words are <laughs> awesome. Um, we're, we have a plethora of stuff to talk about. So um, this was a heavy tech weekend. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of big changes happening in massive the, changes. the tech world. And we're, we're going to talk about one of the biggest changes. That's yeah. Elon. Oh, I thought we were talking about aliens. Damn it. Well, okay. So you know, um, so Hunter <laughs> Hunter Biden kind of got a little bit screwed on his. His thing, so it's like they had to do something to take the, the oh, pressure that's off what of it that. was. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah what we got to get um, everybody's mind set to the. Did you watch any of that? I watched little bits and pieces of it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, wow. You know, somebody somebody had uh, made mention. He's like, they said that you know they found you know objects that were not you know not made and then non-human biologics. Yep. And somebody said, well, it it, it could have been. It could have been, uh, um, you know, something made from overseas that we've not seen before from another country that hit a bird and landed oh, non-human on. biologic. So you see where we're going with this? Yeah. You know, we could just twist the words. It's just the right amount of, you know, throw you off type thing. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? Dang it. You just ruined it for me. <laughs> right. No, it's definitely, oh, it's, it's definitely, look, we, there's aliens. Even the Bible. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're, and I'm not saying I'm not, I'm saying, but I just go this way. If if you're a Christian, and if you understand the Bible and the way it's written, you'll understand that, um, you know, He made the heavens and the earth. Oh, we had to. heavens. Oh, right. Oh, yes. Yeah. So Ooh. it's not like, and you know, I'm pretty sure that there's. If, if you think that we're it. No, it's no, it's out there in the universe. Be. You got a, you, you got a lot of, you got, you got some. The mold problems. in the shower was talking to me earlier today and told me he was been here all this time and didn't, didn't even know. Oh, God, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! So we're gonna jump off. We're gonna jump off that 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 that, that rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, get away from that. So Safari, and, the new iOS 17. Have you been running the beta? No, no, I refuse to run the beta because I need to keep. I need I. I, back in the day, I had a couple of glitches that I just said, you know what, I just need to go ahead and make sure my stuff's working properly because I have a lot of Face ID stuff that I need to make sure I can log into. Yeah. And if I can't, I can't do my work. <laughs> well, so. so far, I'm on the third. So how are you liking it so far? It's good. Yeah? Yeah. It, it's interesting where they put stuff. Mm. Yeah, so the, the user that... interfaces, they like to hide things from people, you yeah. know? Yeah. I have, have I've had to go in and fix. Sometimes you know you can tell it's I'm running the beta. Yeah. And I and I update the beta every time, and it's it's an interesting, it's interesting where they're trying to go with it. I do believe, mm -hmm. but um, the one thing that I am excited about, you know, and there's and so, so we have these nine new features available in Safari. Now yes. this is Safari. So when I say beta the 17, it's this is the new Safari issue, right? Right. Yeah. These are new um, Safari features, and and so. I love the profiles. You know, you know, ex, you know. Apple expands a tab groups with a profile feature that is designed to let you separate your browser from different use cases, which I kind of like. Mm -hmm. Work or pleasure or oh, work okay. or you know, I'm looking for this kind of thing. It's it's really nice. I'm mm -hmm. not saying porn. Get, you know, you said get pleasure. You your pleasure. heads out of the gutter. I don't, I don't, the first thing came to mind was this is this self-pleasure? <laughs> no, 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 no. But I do like the fact you know, <laughs> and, and it, it's getting smarter. It knows it knows when it's for work. Yeah. And it knows when I'm just goofing off, like trying right. to find cool stuff. Right. Yeah. I love I and I am constantly searching the internet. Like when I mean, we're gonna start a new show. Um, and I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what the name is going to be. It's probably going to be named "Shit I Find on Social Media." Literally, <laughs> is going to be the name. Of course, I'll do a little S H star T, so it doesn't offend everybody. But I really don't care. But 
I find some of the coolest stuff on all the social media yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then I start posting it and everybody's like, dude, you need to do a show about all this crap you find because mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, maybe one day. Um, but, and then, you know, uh, so locked privacy browsing window. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a cool idea. Because, that is yeah, awesome. Just, just like when your pictures are hidden, you have hidden pictures mm-hmm. or even, even emptying your, uh, uh, trash bin on your iPhone, mm-hmm. on your photos app. That's all locked by FaceTime. And that's a cool feature. So now you can have a web browser up, you know, things that you're looking up, and those that particular browsing feature is locked behind FaceTime. Right. So people can't, you know, get into that. So, you know, you could be looking up, you, you could be doing work, you know, looking up pricing for a client, you right. know, and then you get out of it and, you know, they try to look over your shoulder. It's, it's going to be locked, you know. Right. So that's cool. cool and you know, so I always used, and I'm going to jump down to private search engine. We just talked about that. Yeah. Uh, tracking URL. So, so <clears throat> um, everybody that it's, I like, so I, I have nothing to hide on my phone. So there you can. Right, I'll yeah. say here, use my use my phone to look at a browser. You know, mm-hmm. use Safari or whatever. And I get it. And the minute it comes up private browsing, they're like, Oh, I know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm like no, actually, because uh, private browsing before 17 uh, would not allow you would not allow the website to track you in private browsing mode. Mm-hmm. Um, so what they've done now is they've changed that so you can go on there and tell all of your oh the whole st- everything yeah. whether you're private or all browsing to not allow tracking. It's about time, right? And that's a, and to me that's a kind of a big deal and. And um, you can tell it one of the new features is you can hide your IP address from websites. Yeah. yeah. And that's where you get your spam from. Mm-hmm. That's where you get all your crap that comes in, hits your mailbox. You're like, well, how did they find me? Because you were on your website. You were using Safari or Google. Google's never going to do this because Google does never want you to be able to turn that crap off. Right. Chrome is a, is a tracking master. Mm-hmm. Um but I use more Safari than I do use Chrome when it comes to just fast work. Um, I do like Chrome and Google because of the fact that I can go, crap, what was that website I looked at the other day? And I go, oh, there it is right there. Right, right. It's, kind of, it's kind of nice to be able to do that. Um, um, now, the listen to page. Oh, Google's talking to me. Um, so um, the listen to page can read a website for you. That that is I I, I like, like that. that yeah you know you, you you especially if you're just you're doing something else and you yep. you want to read it but you got a project that you're working on and you're you were just searching it and you're like I want to read the rest of that yep. letter it, it, that should have been built in to begin with yeah. first off especially with the uh, AI um, coming yeah you know I got help. we got AI news too which is kind of mm-hmm. that's my everybody's like oh but anyway we'll get to there and this this next one is shared passwords and pass keys so you I think can, that's that's a cool feature you know especially, cool. yeah you know so, you know I've multiple times my wife would be like you know what's the password for you know the login for you know payroll or something Boom. you know I can just share it with her just like yep. you can with your uh passwords for um for your your Wi-Fi login you had that option. Yep. If somebody was on your contact list, then all of a sudden they got to the same uh, login to your router, and it would automatically pop up and say, hey, you want to share a yep. Wi-Fi password with this person? And boom, you had that opportunity. Makes it easier. Yeah, yeah, it makes it yeah, easier. Yeah, it makes it way easier. And the last thing we'll really kind of touch on is the uh, privacy settings. Yeah. So you can make it where um, you can block all cookies, right? And... Um, you know, it's also been, you know, it's the, the privacy and security section and stuff like that. But you can get in there and you can block cookies or you can, or you can privacy preserving, add measures, or check for Apple Pay. Mm-hmm. It looks like they also moved Apple, uh, Apple Pay features out of the privacy and security setting to they, a more advanced setting. They did. They yeah. did, which I, I think is probably a, a really good thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, know? yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, and here's some rumors coming up about the new iPhones. Mm-hmm. Um, the th- they're going with a thinner bezel. Yes, and they're saying it's making it more difficult to manufacture the glass and stuff. Um, so I th- I don't know if it's more it's more difficult to manufacture the glass versus they just the production changes and stuff like that that they have to do, even right. though it's probably... If they say they made the bezel thinner... That's probably how they're saying they're coming up with more real estate on the screen. But it makes it a drop hazard. Oh, yeah. You're really going to have to have a, a really good, and I don't mean just a good 
protect That's because kids. Apple's going into the repair business. Yeah. <laughs> which is sad. Yes. Which tells me that potentially, you know... Yeah. Well, you know, just it's FYI. going to be a problem with your with your crap. Yeah, FYI, uh, Apple and a lot of companies se- serialize the the hardware that they use. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, you have a screen that gets broken, and you want to swap your screen out on your phone. Even if you took it from another genuine iPhone and brought it and put it onto your device, some of the features of the screen won't function properly. Um, including like, uh, say, say for instance, refresh rate, things like that, mm-hmm. um, won't function right. And, the, and it won't, it will not, you know, be perfect. And you'll get, you know, you'll get ish- issues because the screen is literally programmed to the chipset that's on the, the logic board. Right. And the same thing with, you know, your touch IDs, cameras, things like that. Even your right down to your battery so if you get an aftermarket battery installed on your phone, now your, yep. your phone tells you, hey, it's not a genuine battery. Hey, it's not a genuine screen. Hey, it's not a genuine this. Right. You know, it's gotten to the point where, you know, what do you do? You know, you know, it's, it's and there's only certain companies that can even buy from directly right. from Apple. So it's, 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 it's trying to get rid of the aftermarket with you. Right. They're, they're trying to say, okay, fine. We're going to go ahead and let right to repair work. But. but. We're not going to let you repair it. I mean, that's just like good okay, so, luck finding parts. <laughs> right. For the longest time, you know, we'd all buy these little extra peripherals to use that plugs into the phone for like you know audio, video, whatever. Yeah. And then you would plug in, and it would go, and you would spend like big money, like thirty nine, forty nine dollars for this uh, this adapter or something mm-hmm. like that. And go ahead, not supported by. Well, you know, it's funny. It's, it's like uh, it's funny. We just got out of this too. Is the the fact that Apple's also said okay, UE said that. They need to switch to USB C. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Apple said that's fine. One problem. They will only, if they're going to do it, and it's only going to work with Apple ca- cables. And what they're going to do is that if you use an aftermarket cable, fast charging will be disabled. And, and get this, it will drop the port down to USB 2.0 speeds. Right. So that's even, that's even crazier. So you don't get the full function of mm-hmm. the USB C. Nope. We're gonna make it even harder for you to think, you know, and, and at, at some at, at what point I don't think people are really gonna care yeah. that much. I think it's more about the the idea of why you have to have a different cable for every device out there. Right. You know, and, and USB C is I will say is very easy to use. Oh, it is. And it works really I mean, well, it's it's much, much faster. So so while we're and now we're gonna stay on Apple for just a second here is Apple Maps expand detailed city experience feature. This is I've used this already. This is kind of yeah, cool. It happens in Miami and if you <laughs> Yeah, it, there's only like 20, 30 places, yeah. locations right now around the globe. But it gives you, I mean, so you can look at the state, and then you can go around the stadium. And you know, I think more or less, it's it's, it's a lot easier to use it in 3D view when it's when you're like in a city. Yep. Especially when you're trying to drive around and you're having a difficult time trying to find a specific location. It needs right. to be more precise. Yep. You know, you can't say you're at your location. You know, and you're two blocks away. No. Nope. You know, and you've missed your turn five times. Right. So right now it's in Atlanta, Berlin, Germany, Boston, Chicago, Hamburg, Las Vegas, London, Los Angeles, Melbourne, Australia, M- Miami, Florida, Montreal, Canada, Munich, New York, Paris, Philadelphia, San Diego, San Francisco, Seattle, Sydney, Toronto, Vancouver, and Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. I don't really don't care about Washington. Well, actually, you know, because they, because they have the they have all the monuments. Yeah, yeah, they have and all the, the monuments. stuff like that. So, okay, yeah, I mean, those it are is cool, cool. Those are cool features. Yeah, it is cool. And that, that would definitely would make it easier for somebody who has to like zoom in on a particular area on a block and get down to where each individual location is to try to break right. down where they got to go because parking is hell. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is, and it sucks. So now we're gonna get off Mac, right? And we're going to talk about, so we've been talking about this for years. Mm -hmm. When are they going to make solar that not only receives, but it charges? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it stores, right? So solar batteries, a new material makes it possible for simultaneous to absorb light and to store energy. I think this is going to be a game changer. Oh, definitely. Just imagine, you know, you, you, you have your 12 hours or whatever. It's going to be of daylight hours. And then right now it's. No, we right now we get it from seven a.m. until nine a.m. nine p.m. Right, that's when it, right yeah. now summertime. Right? right, 
Well, we could just 14 hours. Yeah. Well, you know, just imagine. I mean, you still you could still imagine still being able to pull from those same, yep. you know, solar panels. Yep. Um, additional energy reserves that have been stored in there to help offset, you know, what's happening in the evening to help keep you off the grid as much as possible. Yep. You know, that's and that that's great. You know, not only that, that's also going to boost productivity of the of the panels themselves. And then then they'll yeah. have to then they're going to figure out how to. Get solar panels that work with moonlight. No, they just need to go ahead and figure out how to change, get the battery technologies uh, to where they need to be. Dude, that is such a that is such. We are so weak in that game. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, don't understand I, it. Yeah, it, it just it just boggles my mind why they've taken you know they've they've always that leaned on you know current technologies. And just said, okay, we'll just make them bigger, bigger battery, bigger battery, bigger battery, thinner. You know, they've 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 changed, you know, some chemistry, minor things, you know, trying to get as much energy out of it instead of really going in there and changing the molecular structures right. and, and things like that and different combinations of products to try to get a new technology that's going to be able to. And we all do love lithium. Yeah. The only problem is, is it can blow you up. You can die. Yeah, just a little. Because that's the most explosive stuff in the world. If you've I will, I will tell you, I will Ooh. tell you, if you cut into a laptop battery yep. and you don't do the work right, a lot of these newer devices, the batteries are glued in, even iPhones and things. Yeah. And I, I've seen it. I've, I've had it happen. They will catch on fire and you, they burn and they don't burn like you, you would think, you know, 5,000 no. degrees. These things are, these things are taking everything down with them. They don't care. You know, and there <laughs> lithium no batteries throwing, don't give a fuck. And there's no throwing water on. There's no, no you AD. can't, you can't throw water on. A them. You doesn't have to, work. B yeah. doesn't work. A, B, C, D doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have it's, to, yeah, it's, it's a foam. There is a, there is a, there is a product that literally is, is a foam. And that's how, you, and it, but you got to get close enough to just think, think, to, uh, think of what the firefighters got to go through with these cars, these lithium yeah. cars, you know, and, and a lot of times they stick the batteries right in the bottom of the carriage, Yep. you know, and, and people are stupid. I, I don't care. You're driving around, you know, they're going to run over something. They're going to hit something. It punctures that seal. Right boom. to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I've seen a um, battery lithium test, uh, battery test. There was this new battery technology that somebody was coming out with, and they were just showing the differences, and it was called a nail test. So they took a they took a lithium battery was on on this on this device, and it's, it punctures it with a nail, right? And um, they have it in an enclosed area, and that thing exploded like you wouldn't believe. I mean, yep. it just it threw flames and then just ruptured like an atomic bomb. And then next thing you know, they did the other test, and they drove a nail through it, and it didn't it didn't explode on this other other type of battery, which was kind of cool. So, um, but uh, yeah, yeah, this is uh, you know. So speaking is, of solar, right? So and then you know this this is a good idea. This is a good idea, right? So Cold War era atomic bomb site could be the world the host could host the largest U.S. solar development. Well, why not? I mean, it's not you like... You can't grow anything there. Yeah. You right. can't live out there. Hell, you're going to die putting the solar panels up there. You might as well put a bunch of uh, terminally ill people out there to put them right. up. Right. Give them people that they, they ain't... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're oh, we're both going... We're going to hell. We're going to I'm hell. I'm just we're saying we're hell. going to hell. Oh, shit. But yeah, I mean that makes that makes utter sense. I mean, this property it, that you can't use, can't use it. You might as well stick something on it. Yep. You know, I mean, you can. So if they go out and you know to install the place, you got you're going to have to you know you got to run cable, you got to run bases, you got to put concrete out and all that kind of stuff out there. You can do that in suits. Mm -hmm. It's just going to take you a little bit longer to build because you can only have so much time inside these areas. Of course, some of these areas may not be getting enough rads off to hurt you. But you can't ever grow anything there. You can't right, ever put right. anything there. It's just, it is what it is, mm -hmm. right? So might as well use, utilize these locations for something that's that's going to be good. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, I mean, if the, if I see something like that, I can understand. You know, I can get behind it. Land space, they could put so they could put solar, they could put wind power yep. on there. You know, they can do a whole bunch of stuff on it. Utilize it for something if it can't be used for you know. The only, the only, depending on what how many rads are coming off and how mm -hmm. how hot it is is whether how long the product's going to last. That would because yeah, that no, will deteriorate. Yeah, that yeah. will eat it up, and so you're you're looking at something as long as you know. You well, it says do the, the sites are all safe now and completely ready for redevelopment. Um, but I don't think anybody would want to develop, you know, housing there. You'll never have anybody put a house yeah, there. Yeah, nobody's going to want to. 
That's getting to the point. It's almost like the point right now going, you know what? Well, you know, we got a sinkhole, but let's build there anyway. Yeah. You know, we did, while we were on the uh, subject of uh, power and stuff, too, yep. you know, there was a, um, uh, some people have, it, there's a good possibility that we have cr- or has been created or is showing so much potential, people have started making a run for trying to patent it already or claim dibs on it. And it was um, a product, a super, super conductive uh product that can basically uh, function without having to be super cooled um, and without having to be, you know, high atmospheric pressures and different things like that. It can, it runs stable at room temperature. And um, these super, super uh, materials, conductive materials, Mm -hmm. basically can transfer electricity through them with no resistance. No resistance. And if you don't have resistance, you don't have heat. Right. So if you don't have, and and the potentials for this is, you know, imagine all your devices that we have now no longer needing to have thermal components in them to keep them cool. Like CPU paste and stuff. Yeah, right. Uh, Or or even, you know, additional cooling capabilities. Right. Um, All your devices will run like, you know, cool to the touch. There would be no, no reason, no heat. And that's where a lot of electricity is wasted, is in heat. Yes. Heat transfer, you know. And so they've, there's two groups that have come up, the thir- three-person group and a six-person group, something like that. Whoever gets and, patent first wins? Well, you know, the three-person group threw their kind of hat in there first, yeah. and then all of a sudden um, this other group did it right after them. And they're trying to – one of the, the first group is trying to get the Nobel Prize. Right. Um, they don't have it fully – they they have so it's it's so close that they decided to do it now because they were afraid somebody else was going to get in on it. They're hoping that by the time they get the patent kind of yeah. close, they'll they'll be done with the yeah, process. Yeah, so it's going to be very interesting to see technologies changing right. within the next. I would say, close to five five wow. years. I would say there there could be a potential for some major changes. Right. If if this stuff can be produced, yeah, easily and economically then there's going to be major changes in the production of, of electronics and uh, uh, other devices. And who knows, you know, that, that could be what we needed to really yep. set things off. Hey, you could use today's technology, right. battery tech, right. if you're not wasting it on thermals. Yep. You know, the batteries will become more efficient. The electronics would be more efficient. Then the batteries today could still be continue to be used, and we wouldn't have to change battery technology Correct. right off the bat. Right and that gives the bat, them yeah. a long time to go ahead and, yep. and you know, make it better. Because that's what kills batteries. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is the heat. Heat, yeah. Because, you know, so, and let's, so let's stay on this, because I just saw, I saw a product the other day online where... You plug it into your household circuits. Now I don't know if this thing's gonna work. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get one that takes the the um, the hot load yeah. from the electric company, and it dampers it down. Because that's you know. So I don't know if people know this, and I, and and I'm gonna try to explain it in the dumbest way I know. I I did a video in a, in a, in a corporate campaign for a guy out of I think it was up in Hernando County. Maybe a little bit further up, and he put he put these panels mm-hmm. on your house that before your box before your he put it in between the the um, the connection and your fuse panel. Right. And what it did is it took the spike load off. So, like when you when your refrigerator. Mm-hmm. When your hot water heater, when right, your right. dryer, when your air conditioner, when your pool pump first start up, there's a hit. Mm-hmm. And what happened is that hit makes it spike from, you know, so, and what happens is the electric company takes that spike. So you may run at just, I'm just saying, just, I'm just putting numbers out here. You may run the whole day on five kilowatts. Right. Right. But when you spike, you hit 15 kilowatts. The electric company hits that 15 kilowatts, and they see that 15 kilowatts. That's where they stay all day long. Mm. You may not be using that spike, but that's the rate they bill you at. Oh, okay. They hit you for the spike. So what this guy did is he made this product that knocked the spike down. So every time your pump or your fridge or, or something like that yeah. would cycle... It would cycle through this box first, and they never saw the spike. And it would literally, it 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 
kept people's zones so he, down. He basically, he basically just grabbed a bunch of capacitors and stuck it on the yes. house. <laughs> so now these guys from um, are making this thing you plug into your house that does the exact same thing. I don't know how it's doing it. Yeah. Because it would have, to me, my brain says it's got to be in front of the... Device that's about to pull. Right. Yeah. Um, so anyway, but that was that's kind of a that that's kind of a cool thing. And then there's these cu- a couple Australian guys out, um, down, down under that have got this um, this this new electrical uh, generator that mm. once it starts, it needs nothing to power it. Mm. No fuel. It's like perpetual. Once it gets going, you give it the boost to start it. It can run forever. Literally until the parts wear out. Damn. And they're squashing the crap out of this thing. Of course. I'm trying to get them. I'm literally trying to get a hold of them to get them an interview on here. Yeah. That'd be cool. Because I want to see what kind of struggle they're going through. Mm -hmm. Because you know every power company in the world is like, oh, hell no. These would be perfect for hurricane season. Right. (laughs) Right. Exactly. But the problem is, is once you start them and, you know, I I don't. Oh, I never have to turn it off. I don't need no hurricane don't, season's coming next year. I don't year. need to no more. <laughs> so let's talk about the biggest thing that hit social media platforms oh, this week, and actually yesterday. Yeah, and a few people's uh, uh, windows as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> How about that? So Elon got rid of the bird, and it's finally <laughs> X. He gave he gave the bird so, the bird. So would he be X Force? Did you know that I heard? That um, back when Elon was part of PayPal, it's supposed to be X. He was trying to turn PayPal to X as well. Yes. I, so I think I think he just has like this obsession with the X. You know, I bet you he signs his name the same way. <laughs> oh, X! <laughs> I'm X. Well, I mean, so so I mean, he's really what he's trying to do. He's finally he's trying to get to his everything app. Yeah. That's truly what he's trying to build now. Mm-hmm. And since you bought the platform, why not? Right? Excellent. Why not? I mean, to me, um, you know, I hate. Yes, paywalls. When, when paywalls are horrible. Oh, God have mercy. Pay. You know, look, 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 look at here. Look at here. You know, Bloomberg, just, just get off of it. At- FYI, paywalls are so funny. You know, you get a, uh, you get a company that, you know, has a, a a place where a lot of people go visit, okay? So they they throw a paywall up, right? So the first thing you can do is grab a grab that first headline header, header, copy it and Google search it and you will get to a site that has no paywall and you can read the, the true article because those articles just seem to be shared everywhere. Yep. Except for the fact that, you know, if you want to get it from the Times, you're going to have to go through a paywall. Uh, they they don't make any sense to me, you know, putting these paywalls up yeah, because stop they doing it. I don't think they seem to understand that they're it's not an exclusive article to them. No, and they're just making themselves look silly. Yes, you may have seen it there first, but you're not going to go pay, you know, and you're nope, just you're I'm just not. hurting yourself in the long run. So we'll move on. But anyway, we don't we don't even. Need, the bottom line is is he has started. He is he ex he fine he 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 rolled it out last week. And we're, every one of us, the little nerdy guys, are like, when's the X coming? When's well, the you X know, coming? it's funny. He, he can't physically, I don't think he can physically change the name on the Apple Store yet. No. Um, that's the only problem. He can't, he, he can change the logo, which he's already done. Um, yeah, the logo <laughs> got changed. But it's, it's really, it's, well, all, I mean, I, I think. Okay, he, he did change the name. Oh, it's he, X. He, he couldn't call it X. He, called, he had to call it X Corp. Oh, and he and and it says "Blaze Your Glory." <laughs> so uh, they they were talking. This was in headlines yep. because he couldn't change it to just X because um, uh, Apple requires more than at least three letters, three letters for the name. Right. So he called it X Corp. <laughs> and now and now he was able to he cook a "Blaze Your Glory" as, as a header. So that's that's kind so of so. If you now worked for X Corp, are you an X Man? Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Uh, is, is this where he's going with this? I mean, come on now. Our new superheroes. Uh, I work for X-Corp. Ooh, I'm, I'm well, you know, man. I just want a job there. I want to be, I want to have a job there just to say I'm an X man. He's going to call it Tesla X. Tesla X. God have mercy. God, Tex- it, I mean, Texla. just to, I, I would love to just work with him. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just work with Just him. to wonder what the hell is he yeah. thinking half the damn time. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, how, where did this come out of your brain? And he probably from? gets so excited about every idea that kind of hits, hits his head. I guarantee he does. Yeah. I will put money on that one. I, I'm so. sorry, John. I keep wa- looking at, my, you know, my washer machine just texted me and it said that the washer so, is done. So, okay. So you want to hear something funny? I hear we go bunny trail. So we, you know, we have the house up in Georgia now and we have the house down here and, and everything is Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. So I know when people don't shut the door. I know when my laundry's done. I know when the dryer's done. I know when someone walked into the house. I know all that, all of that, right? So my son is very funny, super funny. And I just told, I told my wife a couple weeks ago, I said, oh, look, hey, look, the refrigerator's talking to me. He goes, oh, finally someone that will talk to you because we won't talk to you. <laughs> I don't have any friends, uh, but all my appliances love me. Uh, appliances. My, my microwave will talk to me. No. My stove talks to me. I have, I have my washer and my dryer both set. So when they, they finish, they'll send a text message out to me and my wife. And they announce it on the Alexa devices in the house. To go. The washer is done. Pull the dryer is done. Pull stuff out. I, I should change it to get your shit out of the washer. Yeah. It is done. <laughs> and, and the next one I'm going to change is the refrigerator because I'll see when the refrigerator door is open too long. And I'd be, yeah. I should change it to say, shut the freaking refrigerator door. Right, right. Because you can tie these things to if statements. Um, and then you can, uh, I have the Samsung Smart Things Hub. Yep. So I can change things to say whatever I want right. it to say. So here's an, I'm going to ask Adam to do this because I've had now I've had people starting to reach to me personally. I literally want you to bring in if you can everything it takes to put everything on our next wave. X wave, right? Z wave. Z wave <laughs> in your house. I want the hub, a couple of switches. I yeah. mean, I'll buy I'll buy some switches with the hub because I literally want to do that because I got up to, to the new house. ADT is our is, is our um, is our uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, is our uh, surveillance and stuff like that. He goes, and I, and I started going through everything, and I'm like, oh, my God, X, uh, uh, Z-Wave, Z-Wave, mm-hmm. Z-Wave. goes, oh, yeah, because you don't use Z-Wave? I was like, no. No, everybody on I said, cons- my, I said my other tech shaman does. He is huge, and he goes, oh, dude, less less power draw, less yeah. internet draw. He goes, um, he, you can, I, I'm a, he goes, you should, this whole house should be done on Z-Wave. Z-Wave is its own technology, its own, it's it's Bluetooth technology, it, right. it, it's very low powered. Um, as a matter of fact, Quickset makes door locks. They make two specific door locks, exactly the same, you know, touch, punch and stuff, yep. but they make one that's Wi-Fi and they make one that's Z-Wave. And the one that's Z-Wave batteries last 50% longer really? than the Wi-Fi ones, yes. Okay. The Wi-Fi... That technology is is okay, but the problem is is it, it's a major power draw, and it works on your same Wi-Fi network. So the problem with that is is the more devices you have on there, mm-hmm. the the more of a hit to your physical Wi-Fi speed in the house. Correct. You know, and you you know, you got all these devices on there, and it just most, kills you. And if and, and if you're not you know techni- technologically inclined, you can only have two hundred and fifty four you know fifty one mm-hmm. you know items on your your network before you start running out of IP addresses unless you can know how to create VLANs and things like that. So, you know, if you don't know how to do all that kind of stuff, then, or, you know... So we're going to do a show about that. Yeah, yeah. So So, Z-Waves off. Speaking about Z-Waves, I just love this. Z, Z. We were on X and we're on Z. Insulting Pentagon's UFO boss torches claims of alien cover. So, Mm. as we were talking, I watched the whole thing. I watched it in chunks, though. Yeah, yeah. Right? This dude, I love the way he answers. I, I can't answer that in an open forum, but I can do it in closed doors. It's an ongoing investigation, but yes. And they, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's all I could say. Yes. Has people been hurt by technology from UFOs? Yes. You know, but I mean, some of the stuff he really kind of got into. Yeah. Um, and dude, they have, this guy has had his life threatened. Mm-hmm. His, his, the people in the program. So it come to find out we have aliens. Aliens. Oh, wait, no, they're not. No, no, they're not. They're non-human. Not, yeah. Non-humans. They're lizard people who have been here this whole time. Well, we just don't know. The Anunnaki. They, <laughs> they've been living under the ground. Right. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I just love the fact that I love the fact that it's finally coming out and Remember we're being honest said. about it. Right. I know. I know. Yeah, boy, boy, right there. Right. Human. Oh, here we go again, Bloomberg. Good God almighty. You know what? This is ridiculous. So Microsoft Microsoft's is bearing responsibility for the China Tide hacks. 
That's well, what the synergy I mean, it's obviously if you hire the company to handle your services yep. and they're not protect. I mean, at the end of the day, yes, you have IT professionals that hand, work within Microsoft's features. But I can pretty much guarantee that when Microsoft was hired by the federal government to control their you know, and manage their you know email domains, I'm pretty sure they also had Microsoft handling all its security as well. Yep, Senator and, Wyden just tore them up. Oh yeah, yeah. You know these these companies. You know they they think oh yes the cloud is the way to go and everything and and look look here I, mm -hmm. nothing's impenetrable. Mm -mm. It's going to happen. Right. You know it's just whether or not you've you know. I think the reason why they had a problem was because they, uh, uh, I think they've they made some changes with the AI integrations and stuff yep. like that. And as they were trying to do this stuff, they left some doors open. Yep. And um, you know, when you're trying to pull products together, things happen. Yeah. You know, especially when you're trying to get that initial integration. Oh, absolutely. And what, what they've been doing lately, as a matter of fact, just before this happened, they were saying they were making a name change for the um, Azure uh, cloud, mm -hmm. uh, doing the name change on that feature and stuff like that, which it's all web-based, so they have to open up, chain, make changes in, in, in the pages and things like that yep. on the servers and things. You know, it, all it takes is somebody leave something back door just open. Just one boom. little thing. One little thing. One little thing. One people, little third people party. People can get into your Wi-Fi system by using your uh, your Roomba. Hey, look, look. It's happened. The federal, the federal government and law enforcement can now see within the walls of your house using your Wi-Fi signal. Wi-Fi signal. As a matter of fact, it 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 creates the 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 best X-ray vision that anybody yep. can buy. And the more, and by the way, the more uh, Amazon products you put in there, and the more Google products you like, you know, like the yeah. the pucks and everything, you're creating a mesh network inside your house. Oh yeah, yeah. You're and mapping the inside of your house for them. Exactly. And as a matter of fact, what happens is that the rate at which the the, the signals come out of the house yep. and reach their devices, they can map and see people yep. moving around, things like that, because our bodies absorb the radiation mm -hmm. from the, the signals, and the, thus, you know, we're able to be seen moving around. Yeah. Um, uh, we yeah. see you in the closet, sir. You can't say you. Get out of the home. closet. Well, that's a whole <laughs> different thing. So, um, so, let's pick on Samsung for a little bit. Samsung. Samsung! So, not only are you not... Oh, so, the 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 Galaxy Z Fold Five and Flip Tumble they they drop in um, they're just not doing well in the testing. Really? Nope. No, I would. Uh, I wonder why. I mean, not only testing, but the the flips and the folds. Um, I do know that Samsung was also having some major issues in their new design changes. Um, they they said something about you know we we always spoke about the folding feature. Yep. They're com having major complaints with dust and debris getting between the screens. Well, duh. I mean, if you if it folds like this and you slap it in your pocket and you have, you know, you slap your keys in there, you're, you know, yep. you have change in there, stuff like that. Of course, eventually it's going to work its way between the screens. It's going to scratch those screens and make them look ugly and yep. faded. And the it's, fold is starting to crease now. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean... It's not like we didn't warn people. We told everybody before this happened, uh. and 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 it's it's literally it's kicking it's, you know it's it's kind of funny. You want to know when something is not going well? Watch how much advertising they put behind it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's literally you know like have you noticed that the iPhone? I mean they're out there, but the iPhone advertisement is not as big as it was. Because mm -hmm. there was a problem with the iPhones there for a while. Yeah. They really got slammed when they found out they were they were degrading your power and they were degrading the, your, yeah. your 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 um your the way it was working as the phone got older, so you would go buy right, a new right. phone, right? They don't need to do that. So, you know, I mean, if I love my iPhone and this is uh this is a thirteen. I'm not going to go to the 14. I'm waiting for the 15 to come out. Yeah. I so, went from 11 to 14. So. Right. 
I so, mean, I had, I had that I'm, jump. I'll wait one more. But, you know, when you have, the minute you start seeing a ton of advertising on the flip phones, yeah. you know that there's, that, that, there's, a, there's a problem. There's a problem. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's just not as popular. My wife is even going, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm so used to Apple, I would, I would go get one. I'm like, why? She goes, well, when's Apple going to do that? I said, Apple's never going to do that. Yeah, well, they, Apple said they're not going to do it. It doesn't make any sense. No. No, 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 I mean, it, it's, I, I could, you know what would be cool? The screen on the back of the phone. Okay. You know? So or, front and back? Yeah, front and back. Yeah, why not? You wouldn't know which is which. Yeah, yeah, I would. <laughs> I could touch one. You could touch one. Okay. So, because, you know, it's kind of weird that, you know, where would, you know, so you'd only have half a screen back here? Maybe, uh, maybe. A, a three maybe quarters. Maybe an Apple logo could just do stuff, you know? Right. Oh, that would be kind of, that would be, just, that'd be, just be cool. But you know what? <laughs> John's like, wait a second. Apple's cool. That's the way it is. Cool. I mean, it's, it's, it's seriously, though. You know, you can't sit there and tell me. And, I mean, I'm, I'm a video guy. Plus, and, it just works. And I know what happens when you take these materials, even with the TVs, mm -hmm. right? You start, like, we have one TV that finally crapped out. And I'm very, I mean, it was an LG. Thing lasted me almost seven years. And that thing was tossed around John, in trucks. John, come on. We do this with a slice, of, a piece of paper. How do you think we cut that piece of paper when right. we were kids? Right. We would fold that bitch over and over yep, and, and over go, and over, and it would just go. Well, that's how you, well, how do you, how, okay, so I can tear aluminum the same way. Yeah. I can, or steel. I can fold it back and forth until it gets hot, and then once it gets hot, just kind of pull it, and it's it'll a, come apart. Dude. It's yeah. just, it's, it's You like, can't tell me plastic's not going to do the exact same yeah, thing. Yeah, they they just never realized it would happen. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. They, they, as a matter of fact, they have never folded anything in their lives. That's what it was. But I will tell you, the iPhone 15, if it does come out with the Wi-Fi 6E, I may jump on it because I have a 6E but I, router now. But I thought, you, I thought you said we shouldn't jump on 16E e yet. 6e. I have 6E in the house. Yeah. It's 7. Don't jump oh, on 7. Oh, now it's 7. Yeah, don't jump on 7. 6 I knew 6 was good, but 6E, not everybody's making for yet. Well, yeah, not everybody, but but I, I do have a 6E wireless adapter I put, popped in my computer, so yeah. my, my desktop... My gaming computer yeah. now has the only one band directly just for it. It oh, has nobody else is using. No I got, lag, I got no quad nothing. band. I got a router. It puts out four signals, wow. and I have one signal devoted just to that computer. So, do all do all routers have the capability? So again, you, you know, everybody thinks that I know everything. I sometimes think I know everything, but this is the stuff that I don't know. Does every router, wireless or hardline, does it have the ability to go in there and go, okay, this is my two, this is my five, and this is my six? Or, well, if the, if it has the uh, option to go ahead and bind all those SSIDs that make it one SSID, mm -hmm. the router has the capability of determining what device should be where. Oh, okay. Problem is, is you know, Spectrum does that. A few other companies, you know, they'll have them already pre-programmed where they have a single SSID. Yeah, that, and that's where I'm going. My Spectrum yeah. wireless no longer has 5G, 4G. No, it just or 5G, has, 2G. Right. It's just Spectrum. And it and the problem with that is some of the older 2.4 devices and things like that cannot join it sometimes because it's just like it, it can't either one. It can't the SS the um web. Mm -hmm. Features are too the encryption's too strong. Too strong, right? And all or you have the uh, the issue where um, the router just can't just can't determine where to stick it. Okay. So the problem is you may have a device, a five G device that's a little too far, and instead of giving it five G, the router will determine that it wants to put it on two point four, and you on the other hand may want it to be on five G mm. and wondering and bitching because your computer is not reaching the desired speeds that you're right. paying for, and it's, let the customers make the decision at the end of the day because I could guarantee a lot of a lot of issues where people you know call and complain. Oh, my computer's not going that fast. Is all related to the fact that yeah. the router can't make a decision on where it wants to stick your particular device. It is may, there a way to turn that off? Can you um, unbind it? New new Spectrum routers. I have not been able to get into them. I just I just literally disconnect them. 
<laughs> and and give really? you know just have people install their own router. Right. We configure it and things like that. Okay. We'll either set it up. So but, that's a still a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Now that Spectrum's do not selling the combos, which had the router mm-hmm. and uh, the uh, yeah, um, they ask you modem. if you have your own modem or your yeah. own wireless router. Yeah. So now that they don't sell it that way all the time, um, and they have the little tubular garbage can that they give you. Yes. Um, you can just just as easily just take that one off and stick yours on there and be done and with log it. Log into yours and... Yeah, tell. log into yours and configure. And a nice thing about that kind of a feature is if you say you get rid of Spectrum, you get a new company, you just plug yours into their equipment and boom, you're, you don't have to change your Wi-Fi password. Right. You don't have to change all your devices in the house. Mm-hmm. And then, or say Spectrum says, oh, we need to upgrade your modem because we have faster internet coming out. You unplug your router, plug you know, get, plug in their new modem and stuff like that. Yeah. You don't have to go through the problem with you know changing everything every single time. Right, that's know? a good idea. Yeah, yeah, because you know, and that's I heard that the other day that Spectrum is trying to roll out gig <clears throat> service. Right, but it, they may they, they may you know if they roll out the gig service, you're never going to have the upload speed. Nope. I mean, they're, they're, you, you, yeah, that's the one thing that really bothers me the most is yeah. when people when they when they advertise. Oh, you got get you know, it, it, we're even right blazing now, fast you internet, six hundred megabyte. Well, I don't care about the down. I want to know what the load. I mean, you do care about the download when it comes to your streaming devices like Netflix, Hulu, all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah. Because ultimately, where where Spectrum is trying to go is they're trying to go push you on to streaming. No more boxes. Mm-hmm. The problem with that is, well, it's not a problem, but no, the upload is like, not really a big deal for them no, at that point. But for me, when we do upload, upload's a big deal because we stream, yeah. right? right. Um, but you yeah, know, yeah, not everybody's carrying, not everybody's carrying a Spectrum app, right? Like Vizio, nope. Now, now the thing where it's going to be a problem for you is if you have a kid at home that's out there, you know, streaming his gamings and games and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and he's uploading that stream to the internet. And then, say for instance, you have voice over IP services for oh, your phone that's service. Kick its butt. That's also that's also uploading features. Yep. And then you have people surfing the internet who's also typing in things and and uploading, um, you know. Their their search engine to the, to the trying to get the web page to load that that's an upload right. so you know if you want the pages to load faster you know things to happen faster your upload also makes a difference not yeah. just your download okay? exactly so you know that's why when you go into fiber optic you always have a matched speed you you spend you spend for five hundred and a lot of times you have five hundred down five hundred up and that is that is fiber to the modem. Right. Not to the side of the house. Right. Now, if you're going fiber to the side of the house, guess what? You just got copper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's yeah. going to slow it down. Well, not necessarily. They do make routers. The router I just bought yeah. allows for fiber optic to be plugged directly into the back of the router. No, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the, but like a lot of people, they have the little square yeah, box. Yeah, you're still going to get the box. That, that your fiber goes into that and then it gets put out through copper. Okay, mm-hmm. you're back to copper. Yeah. So you're getting you're not going to get the speeds that you mm-hmm. think you would speed. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And still, then you've got to get, you know, then you've got to go, okay, do I re-cable my house with fiber? Time to run a cat seven. Right. You gotta have something that can handle the speed. So, so yeah, as a matter of fact, I got the new fiber optic system coming into this Spring Hill area. And it's gonna be one gig down, I've one heard. gig up. 40, Who's it with? Forty five dollars a month. Who's it with though? Um, you know? The company that's laying the optic is called Open Infra. Um, yeah. And then um, after that, you get to purchase your internet service from multiple suppliers, not just one. What? You don't buy your internet from Open Infra. They are just the one that lays the infrastructure. They're the infrastructure people. And then all the companies lease the infrastructure uh, from AT&T, them. AT&T, Xfinity, Cox, Spectrum. Right. Because they're, they're going to jump on that oh, too. Oh, yeah. Well. They're, they're gonna, but right now you have, um, there's a, uh, uh, not, uh, I forgot. Something Sumo is one of them, uh, fiber optic company that I'm going to be dealing with. That's going to be my ISP. Um, so and, you are you going to recable your house? I don't have to. I've already have. Uh, I figured. I already, figured yeah, the house has already been cabled when I first bought it, so I already have everything. It's in the garage. I'm nice. already waiting for. It's them. going. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm just waiting for them. You know, so I can go ahead and call. Hello, Spectrum. I'd like to disconnect my service. Right. That'd, so, be the, that'd be the first time they offer me a discount. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the next thing we're going to talk about, this may actually read the rest of the show. I'm not sure yet. OpenAI just admitted it can't identify AI-generated text. Yeah, it's... Uh... 
I didn't know it. I didn't. I never thought it really could. I don't think it can. I, I, I some of these features are like, oh yeah, this was ninety nine point eight percent written by AI. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean unless you're putting a a digital stringer in inside the text itself. Yeah, but you know, inside how? the digital file, because once you copy and paste it and you bring it into your system, you can go into properties and delete everything that's in there. Exactly. Cuz exactly. that's you know that's where they hide stuff. I don't I'll, I'll, let's really quick. Yeah. Let me let me Especially in pictures. So this so this is how they can tell whether or not you have droned, what your drone is, what your picture came from, where the location, where the GPS looking. You can go into every one of those assets mm -hmm. and go to the back end of the properties and go to advanced properties and you can go strip the data out yeah. of the back of it, mm -hmm. so it's not trackable, right? Ever. Yeah, yeah. Like, say, for instance, you took a you took a photograph and you had you're getting ready to upload it or right. something like that, and you don't want anybody to know any uh, attributes to the, mm -hmm. the photo. Go on there, you know, right click on it, go to properties, go into that setting, mm -hmm. go to advanced, and go ahead and start stripping all the information from it. Right. Um. It it contains coordinates, all that kind of features. Well, you know, we do that owners. with our videos here. Yeah. The owners, know, every... who the owner is, things right. like that. Yeah. Everything that we edit mm -hmm. has our properties in the back built into the meta. Right, right. Right. And that metadata lets me know when someone's stealing my videos. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yep. Especially when we come to, we have a couple of shows that people have to buy their segments. And if they don't buy their segments, they can share the show. But I've caught them cutting it out and downloading it because, and not only because YouTube is awesome about it. YouTube right. makes it very hard for you to strip that metadata out. Mm -hmm. Right. So when someone puts that up, I get a little notification going, hey, it's being played. Ding. Yep. It's like, hey. And then I go look. I'm like, well, they don't, They didn't buy their segment. That will be $20 for that showing, please. $20? No, that's two grand. No, no, just for the one showing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I send a bill. Yeah. Just, I'm just, mean. Just, just let it get, let it get, start the count start, you know? Yep. Oh, I should do that. You can, you can take, you can still do like video. Dis Disney and all of them. You know how Disney sent that, what, Shh. they just sent that check to the uh, one guy, what, what, zero dollars? Yeah, zero dollars, <laughs> yep. so, And you know what? I guess that, that explains why, you know, the whole the whole streaming service issue that's happening right now. Yes, it does. You know? So you, so, you know, you know, people, they ask me all the time, um, do we have time? We have time. So I'm going to go into this real quick. I'm going to, I'm just, we're not going to go to T-Mobile. It's, we're getting three point three gigabits, which I hope so, because I have the team. We have the hotspots. Yeah, yeah. I actually have the t home. I'll be happy to pick it up. Oh, I know. I oh, know. my God. Dude. Bring it on. We want it. So I got this the other day. Why Why did you start your own your own TV network online? Mm -hmm. Why the web? Why did you choose the website? Why are you not going to Roku? And why are you not going to right, Apple TV? Right, right. Okay, so, and it's it, I have to explain it like this. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter um, are all, they're all closed networks. Correct. Okay. Oh, hey, oh, oh, let me take my glasses off for this. And uh, Spectrum, mm -hmm. Fios, Wow, DirecTV, Dish Network, any cable from provider is considered a closed network. Correct. If I sent you a Facebook video, or I sent you go watch my my stuff on Facebook, and if you don't have a Facebook account, you can't see it. Mm -hmm. You can't look at Twitter. You can't look at Instagram. You can't look at LinkedIn. Right. You can't. You just can't. The and, and so if you know if you don't have a Spectrum account, you can't watch TV. If you don't have a FiOS account, you can't watch FiOS. If you don't have a Direct TV or Dish Network or mm -hmm. Wow or any of these other Cox Media, whatever, if you don't have an account, you can't watch. Correct. So what I did is is because I come from that world, I'm like, okay, so we need something that's purely open. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I said we will stream live on a website, and if you go to our website, like you're watching right now. You don't have to give me your information to watch our videos. Right. You don't have to give me your information to go to the TV shows and the, on the on-demand side and watch those shows. You get to watch them, right? Mm -hmm. So YouTube is considered semi-open because you don't have to have a account with them to watch the videos. Right. You have to have an account to interact, right? But you don't have to have an account just to watch, mm -hmm. right? Vimeo, same thing. You can go watch videos, but you can't interact. Um, 
TikTok, you do not have to have an account to watch. Right. But you, but to interact, you have to be logged into your account. Mm -hmm. So my goal was, is to make this 100% wide open. So, and, and then the, and I, I gave this speech uh, last week and then the guy goes, well, yeah, but what if I don't have internet? I said, you have a phone. Yeah. He goes, yeah. I said, you have internet. Mm -hmm. He goes, no, I don't. I'm like, yeah, you do. He literally doesn't use technology that way. I said, your phone can go to the internet right now and you can watch our channel. He goes, what? I mean, older guy. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. But... That's the whole reason we did what we did. We made it where it's wide open. Well, it's not just that. It's that you're not tied to that particular platform, nope. number one. I play what I want to play. Right. It shows what I want if to show. You want, if you're tied to Facebook, if you want views, you had to pay. You have to pay for them. Well, do or you they remember in the beginning of Facebook? Yeah. We could go get all the friends we want. Yep. Every, not everybody, but it, probably 75 to 80% of our people that followed us or we followed, we would always see their stuff. Now it's 0.3%. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you got to pay to have the people that you went and worked so hard to get to follow you, you had to pay to boost to get to those people. Yeah, yeah. Which is crap. Did you know over, just real quick, over in the U, UE, I think it was, or I forgot which country, but they are going to start making it so that... If you have built a, a following on a platform, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to take that following with you to another platform whenever you want. No. Just like your data portability? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same situation. That needs to be done here. Yeah. Because, well, dude, you, you're the one that builds the platform. Yeah. I, I work very hard to get to my 10,000 or 20,000 people that follow exactly. us. So, anyway, that's the difference between a closed platform and an open platform and why platforms like ours... Mm -hmm. is better to be able to advertise on and be on as a show and stuff like that because then you can tell people here you can go watch it over here right, and, and, right. and it's wide open yeah you don't have there's no barriers mm -hmm. and barriers suck so anyway thanks for watching today we really appreciate it we're boring our tech back there because i just heard him big old massive <laughs> yawn it's like oh my god stop preaching this crap anyway thanks for watching we appreciate it i'm john gaston i'm adam with him that's we'll see everybody next week have a wonderful techie week see ya see ya